Now, in order to understand your own learning and how you can go about research, it's important that you have an understanding of what's called your ontology. And this is your philosophical understanding of reality. What is reality? Because this flavors how you actually explore reality in terms of research. If you've got a particular view of reality, it's going to influence how you then go about researching and explaining and understanding that reality. So there's some readings for you to go through exploring what is involved with different ontologies. And there are five main ones that we're sort of exploring as part of this course, ranging from naive realism through to relativism. So that's the two extremes um, in the aspect of ontology that we're exploring. It can get more complex, but for this course, we're looking at that spectrum of ontology. And within that, there's also structural realism and critical realism. And then on the relativist side, there's bounded relativism and then more pure relativism. So each of these has a slightly different perspective on what makes up reality. Essentially, realists see reality as existing external to themselves. And they, as part of a research process, um, reveal that reality. Whereas a relativist sees reality as very much constructed by themselves and by others. And it's a process of um, unpacking that rea reality uh, in a relativistic way rather than revealing it. So quite fundamentally different ways of viewing what reality is. And there are a couple of quizzes to help you go through um, working out what your particular perspective is. Don't worry if you don't get it perfectly correct. Researchers change their ontological perspectives over time quite regularly and sometimes have different ontological perspectives depending upon what they're researching. So you don't have to get it perfect, but you do need to start developing an understanding of ontology. Because when you come to read other people's research and when you come to do your own research, it's important to articulate your ontology so that others, when they read your research, can better understand how you've approached it. Of course, if they misinterpret how you've approached it, they may, may get a quite a different understanding of what you've actually discovered and explored as part of the research process.